Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So I'm actually just planning what I'm gonna be eating. So, okay, in a future video, I do wanna do like a what I ate today on Ozempic. Um, if you guys haven't watched my last videos, I am on Ozempic and I'm currently on my second week. And the first week, uh, for a personal reason that maybe I'll share with you guys one day, the Ozempic did not work. But, second week, it is working, I think. Or it's a mixture of things. I don't know. Um, it would be a weird coincidence that every time I think of food, I actually want to puke so that's a thing i'm finding myself like wanting to eat healthier eat less but when i make the food like i've been cooking all my meals when i make the food and then i sit down to eat it it takes me like 30 minutes to eat a small portion of food um like every bite seems like a chore it's very weird i will say it's very weird i think ozempic is working also because my weight this week so far has literally been flying off kind of in a scary way i'm just over here like damn um i know this is like a vlogging channel now and it's not a weight loss channel but i mean it's a lifestyle vlog where i talk about my life and currently right now ozempic is making me nauseous like 24 7 so anyways i'm just having my protein shake um it's just not protein shake is it a protein shake yes it is but i didn't make it it's the premier protein caramel it's not orange it's just this is a color changing cup oh so also update on the um book i'm reading a little life yeah it's sad mm, i don't really want to give any spoilers but i will say that the main character jude what i'm assuming will be the main character he has been through a lot literally since birth like the worst thing you could think of besides killing a baby sorry trigger warning wow happened to him so i'm just over here like damn okay so this author really made it to where jude has just had a miserable life people who have read this said that like it gets worse as you continue reading i'm just like what else could possibly happen to this person i don't know one more thing um back to the ozempic talk i will say though that my mind especially at nighttime like around midnight wants food so bad it's like my mind and it makes me cry I've cried two nights in a row about it because like nighttime for me I numb myself with food which then turns into a good time because the food makes me happy and I, I haven't been able to have that I know that sounds insane I I totally understand but this has kind of been an emotional type of deal for me because it's like I'm so used to turning to food just to feel any sort of like serotonin or dopamine from it whatever food sets off or gives off i don't even know and it's not giving that to me at all <laughs> so i know a lot of people are going to be like oh my god you're losing weight because of a medicine how stupid like you can't even do it by yourself no i can't i can't and i think me being on youtube for oh my god it's going to be 10 years what okay um i think maybe on youtube for almost a decade um this is gonna be like literally i should be the walking um ad for ozempic because if this works for amberlyn reed then it's gonna work for anybody um i've heard some people say that like they've had weight loss surgery like years ago and then they started doing ozempic and like ozempic works better than their weight loss surgery and i'm just like damn okay interesting ozempic is a pretty penny so i'm just not sure how long i'm gonna be doing it and like I don't know i heard that some of the symptoms get more extreme like higher the dose you go so i feel like i need to stay on 0.25 for a hot minute because i can't imagine going up to the 0.5 like i just can't we'll see though like you guys are gonna be on this journey with me i know this totally seems like hi ozempic series <laughs> i promise it's not you guys so we're about to do a torrid moment i don't think i've done a torrid moment in like three weeks so let's do it do you guys notice anything weird right now something just seems strange i love you i love you baby okay here it is so i've had this bag for a few months <laughs> 
So I have no idea what's in it. Um, I do have some torrid cash that I will be using. So we're gonna be getting another bag. Oh, oh, this is pantalones. No, I heard that pantalones means pants. So I don't know why someone told me it was underwear, but that's fine. Okay, so it's these really pretty floral. I know I said I don't like floral, but girl, I love this color. It reminds me of like mauve and the back of it is just lace. So a little moment like that. Let's just do another one because so that did not count. Okay, because we are not gonna be trying that on. So we have a size six, so that means this is a shirt because I get my shirts in size sixes, dresses in size fours, because that is how I like them to fit. What is this shirt though? Oh, so apparently I'm too sassy. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot all about this. Okay, this looks cozy and fun. All right, let me move you guys down. Get you guys where I want you, yeah. Ready, set, go. Okay, so here it is. When I tell you kind of cozy, I, I mean it, kind of cozy. I really, really love the sleeves. It adds a little bit of personality to it. It's not just like a typical t-shirt, which I really like. So based on how it fits, it's hard to see how it actually looks because the viewfinder is so small. I need to go to the eye doctor, I know. But based on how it fits, based on how it feels, based on what it says, I'm gonna give this a 8.5. So, model in, back at it. <laughs> I'm so cringe. It's mama cringies. Oh. By the way, update on my wrist. This is prime example of me picking my skin. It turns into something it doesn't need to. Has nothing to do with diabetes. Something bit me and I've picked it. So that's just like a good example Hi, Rattles. of when I say like I pick my skin, what I mean. Um, it's part of like the OCD family or whatever. So that's fun. Um, all right. Oh my God. I just got a glimpse of something else in my torrid bag. I'm excited. I'm totally excited. We are at one of the happiest places on earth. Target. And from the last time I've been to this one, it looks like they remodeled. Love that for them. They have these adorable fans, but with how hot it's been, I don't think that's gonna help any, but you know. Oh my God, Mambas are so good, but ugh. I'm trying to lay off of sweets. I'm looking for the jewelry. And I think they moved it. Okay, plus size queen. I, so I usually buy like every single poetry book because <laughs> I collect them. Courtney Peppernell, uh, she's not my favorite, but I do want to read this. Kelsey Ballerini, Misha Collins, um, another Courtney Peppernell. Wait. I might have this one. Oh no. I don't know if I do or not. I do know for sure that I have the sun and her flowers. I also have homebody. I don't think I have this one. <sighs> Maybe I do. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put these two back. So I'm gonna put them back. The home stuff. My fave. So I've been in this Target for maybe like 30 minutes. Can't find the earrings. Weird. This is adorable. I just have too many tumblers though. 
so I don't need it putting it back okay. okay so I'm now in the food aisle and I have been craving salmon so I think I'm gonna get me one I'm just not sure if I want it pre-seasoned or not okay I think I'm gonna get wait that says skin on there we go skinless salmon filet move my books away from that they should not be touching okay so I've never seen this before Morningstar veggie spicy popcorn chicken that's a yes so I'm thinking I'm also gonna get some mandarins which I'll put down here also just gonna get some salad mix which looks pretty good I always make sure to look at this lettuce hardcore make sure there's no brown pieces but yeah I just been liking some like simple side salads I'm also gonna get two of these small plates it's Italian dry salami and it is so freaking delicious salami cheese and little like cracker bread things I also need some fabric softener so I'm getting the downy and bliss Okay, so now I'm looking for the vitamins, some type of melatonin sleep something because I'm struggling falling asleep. It's like really bad. So, oh, here's some sleep moment. The Ollie brand, so I think I'm gonna get that. So I have a Premier Protein every morning and they have a chocolate peanut butter, which I've never tried before. So I'm getting that. Okay, so I found this super beautiful journal. So I still daily journal. So I'm definitely getting this and I'm definitely gonna use it. Target's hygiene setup is so cute. Volumizing conditioner. Love that. Can you guys imagine if I wore those? That'd be so funny. Also getting some exfoliating gloves. Look at all these masks. I could safely say I've never done a mask in my life. Ever. Juicy pineapple. Ugo Coco. Exfoliating strawberry. Wait, I kinda wanna try one of these. Pink grapefruit. I don't know, my face is sensitive. I also am gonna get one of these Burt's Bees watermelon lip balms. So I am leaving, what is this lighting? Okay, hold on a minute, ma'am. I guess it really doesn't matter what type of lighting we got. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the wind, but couldn't find the earrings and couldn't find the purses. It wasn't meant to be, which is totally fine. Why is there a handicap spot so far away? I don't get it. We parked kind of far. Love that for us. That was a fun little target moment. You guys hear that? those bugs in that tree so in Arizona we call them June bugs but here they call them cask Ugh, cast something I don't even know but what do you guys call them wait is it cascadas I could be wrong okay so we made it home we just ate some food we actually tried this is from Trader Joe's oh. So for a full cup, frozen, it is this uh, teriyaki chicken. It's marinated barbecue chopped dark chicken meat with authentic teriyaki sauce. Trader Joe's. Um, it was so good. We had it with broccoli and rice, but it's so funny. So my girlfriend saw this chair at Target that she really wants to get for the office. <laughs> so we're literally rushing to go back before it closes. So we're gonna see if they still have the chair. She said that there's two left. She saw someone with it. I'm just putting on my shoes. She saw someone with it on the way out. So it's like a popular chair. So we're gonna go back and get it. It's about a 20 minute drive there. I enjoy a good drive moment. But um, another thing we got from Target that you didn't see, two things like cat food. Um, 
that's it though love a little target moment so i'm hoping that the chair is there you know i'm actually trying to get rid of a lot of stuff if you guys saw my goodwill pile right now you'd be like wow okay because i i'm never gonna be minimalist that's not me because i do like decor and such but i just feel like i have a lot of clutter um i don't know maybe not to some people i probably don't but are you ready baby yes, all right so we're gonna go now and we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that the chair's there because my girlfriend really wants it and she deserves it because she's a hard working bitch oh okay so we are currently at Tajay, but we brought twinkie so i'm staying in the car with the baby um it's currently raining and i live for that you guys can't see that but i love me a rain moment so we were just listening to rock with you by ashanti do you guys know that song i love that song this lighting makes me look yellow i don't know like my blood work came back normal so when i go back to the doctor for like my ozempic moment to like let her know how it goes or whatever i want to bring up my jaundice to her a little bit she hasn't seemed like i don't know i think it's just the lighting i'm gonna be honest because there are lights out here that are yellow so it just makes sense that i am yellow you know because right here where the light is the yellow light but then right here where the yellow light isn't going i don't look yellow i just really like that i'm getting my shit together like for the longest time like i wasn't going to the doctor i wasn't like taking care of my health like and I'm just like slowly figuring it out. I know it's taken a hot minute, but we're getting there. Oh my God, this rain is glorious. Oh, look at it. Yes, slay. I've been falling asleep to rain sounds lately, by the way, so 10 out of 10 recommend that. I just thought of something. How is she gonna get the chair not wet? Because the rain. Because it keeps going from like heavy rain to like light rain. So, oh, I hope she could get it. Ah! She wants it so bad. And we tried to order it online, but it was sold out. So that's why we came all the way over here to get it. Um, love that for us. I keep saying that and I'm like really annoyed by it. Do you guys ever like pick up little like habits and it literally annoys yourself? Yeah. Oh, it stopped raining. Oh my God. Baby love, make it. You know what uh, me and my girlfriend do? Just randomly throughout the day, we'll be like, baby love, my baby love. I know we're like, I don't know, we're we're kind of like Pepper Jack cheese. We're, we're super cheesy, you know what I'm saying? We have the chair and it wasn't raining, so. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I could hear it inside. Oh, you heard the rain? Yeah, at one point it was really heavy and I was like, oh. And it was like really like heavy raindrops, like the big ones. I know. It was like the SSBBWs of the rain. Sure. So this is where we're gonna put the chair. So we wanna do a before and after here. So this is how it looks now. I am gonna be giving all of these to Goodwill. All of those pillows. So here is before and after. Ta-da! I am obsessed. It looks so good. I feel like the cats are gonna sleep on that, like Rarity. <laughs> Which, that means there might be hair on it. <laughs> but, okay, it looks so good. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. If you guys hear that noise, it's my desk going up. But look it, we have a cat toy that has this little red laser. And Verity's obsessed. <laughs> also, oh my god, wait, that was so funny. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Rarity, it's behind you. Okay, there we go. 
That right there is my earring. She has adopted it as her baby. I did take off, obviously, the sharp part, so it is just a soft ball. So, <laughs> she's so sweet. Wasabi's somewhere sleeping right now, but... He, Wasabi's not really a toy cat. It's so weird. He'll, like, watch Rarity play. Or he'll play with Rarity, but he won't play with toys. I don't know why. Oh my god, we need to take that off of her. Tweaky has lost so much weight. I was going through some of her old clothes. <laughs> And uh, this is a dress that used to fit her, but now it's too big. I need to take it off. <laughs> you would never think that she was 10 years old. <laughs> this again? Okay, so melatonin taste test. This is sleep for a healthy sleep cycle. There's melatonin, l and botanicals. l Style. So I get to take two of these, and it's 15 calories, so I don't like that, but it's fine. Oh my god, it smells so bomb. I'm hoping it helps. I read online that it could take anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours to work, depending on the person. So... Okay, I feel like I'm cheating on my diet. Huh. Oh, it tastes like candy. Do you want some? No. You don't have trouble sleeping. This girl, she'd sleep on a bed of rocks. <laughs> I'm not even lying. And me, I could be the comfiest person in the world and not sleep. Like, it just sucks so bad. But yeah, those tasted good, I guess. Um, <laughs> we're actually just chilling in bed. We're about to play a little Mario Kart here in a little bit, and yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be honest, that's if I wake up early. That's if these melatonin work and I actually wake up. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I do. I have an extremely early, <laughs> an extremely early, um, what's it called? Appointment with my oncologist about... The fact that I have been prescribed for over two years a medicine that I should not have been taking. Taking. Oh, maybe the melatonin kicked in already. <laughs> Instantaneous. So there's this medicine that I should not be taking that I've been taking for over two years after they um, give me a hysterectomy for uterine cancer. So tomorrow's that appointment. And not gonna lie. Um, I'm a little frustrated even this oncologist is the one who gave me surgery So she changed my life like she took cancer out of my body. So it's like I'm so appreciative for her, but I'm also like Confused because it's like why did you prescribe me this medicine? So I'm hoping all answers are answered what? I'm hoping all questions are answered tomorrow and we can figure it out and I'm wondering if she's going to want me to do another CT scan because it's been a little bit since I've done that just to check on like my lymph nodes and such. Yeah, so I'm actually going to end this vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.